$20,000 Tesla? Everyone said impossible. But leaked Fremont docs reveal Model 2 targeting around $30,000, potentially dropping to $20,000 with incentives. The shocking part? It packs 300-mile range with breakthrough Shengsing 2 batteries, single-piece casting that cuts production time in half, and a completely new hatchback design. While Model Y standard flops at $40,000, this could be Musk's real masterstroke. May 2026 launch confirmed. Is this the affordable EV that finally kills gas cars? Let's dive right in. Let's address the elephant in the room. The Model Y standard was supposed to be Tesla's answer to affordable EVs. Instead, it became a cautionary tale. At $39,990, Customers pay nearly as much as a fully loaded Model 3 but get a gutted interior, reduced range, and fewer features. Even Chevy's Equinox EV started looking attractive by comparison. Sales numbers tell the brutal truth. The Model Y standard is barely moving off lots. Why? Because $40,000 for a stripped-down Tesla doesn't make sense when competitors offer similar value. This failure exposed a critical gap. There's no truly affordable entry point. That's where the Model 2 enters the picture. But here's what makes this different. The leaks aren't coming from Musk's Twitter. They're coming from the factory floor, from suppliers, and from internal documentation. This isn't vaporware anymore. Since September, Chinese component suppliers have been ramping up production for a mystery Tesla vehicle. Documentation confirms Tesla ordered parts for a compact hatchback, a body style that doesn't exist in Tesla's current lineup. When similar supplier leaks emerged before the Model Y standard launch, they were accurate down to specifications. Meanwhile, Fremont insiders report major activity around new production lines. Internal targets point to May 2026, and Musk instructed teams to finalize every detail before unveiling. When Joe Rogan pressed for information, Musk refused, but dropped a bombshell. I think it has a shot at being the most memorable product unveil ever. That's not typical Musk hyperbole. Tesla believes they've cracked the code on something the industry thought impossible a profitable $30,000 EV with 300-mile range. The answer lies in three breakthrough technologies that completely change EV economics. CATL, China's battery giant and Tesla's partner, confirmed the Model 2 will debut their Shengsing 2 battery technology. This isn't incremental improvement. It's a fundamental leap in what LFP batteries can do. Traditional LFP batteries are cheaper and safer than lithium-ion, which is why Tesla uses them in some Model 3s and Model Ys. But they've had two fatal flaws, lower energy density and slow charging. Shengsing 2 obliterates both problems. Cottle claims this battery delivers nearly 500 miles maximum range with 12C ultrafast charging. That's 47 miles added in 30 seconds, or 320 miles in 5 minutes. Sound too good to be true? Tesla originally planned standard LFP cells, but testing showed they couldn't meet performance targets. Shengsing 2 became the backup plan that outperformed the original design. Even more impressive, this battery charges 5% to 80% in 15 minutes at 14 degrees Fahrenheit solving EV's biggest cold weather challenge. Here's the financial reality. Tesla can use a smaller 50 to 55 kilowatt hour battery pack and still hit 300 plus miles EPA range thanks to superior efficiency. Smaller battery equals massive cost savings, combined with federal and state incentives potentially worth $7,500 to $10,000. That $30,000 base price could drop below $20,000 for qualified buyers. Can you name any vehicle under $20,000 with 300 miles of range? 
The Model 2's smaller size isn't a limitation. It's the secret weapon. With latest Giga Press technology, Tesla can cast the entire rear body as one unified piece, something they've never fully achieved with Model 3 or Model Y due to size constraints. Traditional car manufacturing involves hundreds of parts welded and assembled together. Each joint adds cost, time, weight, and potential failure points. Tesla's Giga Casting eliminates 70 to 80% of these components, creating a body that's simultaneously stronger, lighter, and faster to produce. Musk claims the Model 2 will have the fastest production ramp of any large complex manufactured product ever. The physics support it. Fewer parts mean faster assembly, lower defect rates, and dramatically reduced labor costs. Even with California's high wages, the efficiency gains more than compensate. Tesla chose Fremont over Giga Texas strategically. Fremont operates as Tesla's innovation lab, where they test new technologies before global rollout. The Model 2 incorporates unproven manufacturing techniques experimental materials, and next-generation battery integration. Building at Fremont allows rapid iteration without disrupting Texas's Cybertruck production. Early design leaks reveal the Model 2 won't look like a mini Model 3. Tesla is introducing completely new design language with sharper, more aggressive headlights and a front end that breaks from their current aesthetic. No light bar but the overall look is more contemporary than the Model Y standard. As a hatchback, the Model 2 will be instantly distinguishable. It's smaller, roughly 165 to 170 inches long versus Model 3's 185 inches, but proportions are optimized for urban environments and parking efficiency. One rumor that's been shut down, Falcon wing doors or cyber cab style mechanisms. Unlike the CyberCab's experimental, unboxed manufacturing, the Model 2 uses proven assembly line techniques. Tesla chose practicality over flash because this vehicle needs genuine mass market scale. The Model 2 retains traditional four doors with re-engineered hinges and panel gaps. It includes a front bumper camera for FSD capability. Confirming autonomous driving remains central even in their cheapest model. Model 2 owners could potentially enroll vehicles in Tesla's robotaxi network, earning income when not driving. Let's be honest about what a $30,000 Tesla means. This is where Tesla makes the hardest cuts. The center screen shrinks to 10.5 to 11 inches instead of 15. Still functional, same software, but noticeably smaller. Control layout may eliminate traditional stocks entirely, relying on steering wheel touch zones. For older drivers, this will be an adjustment. Seats use fabric instead of vegan leather, cheaper to produce, harder to clean, less premium feel. Heated seats? Gone. Panoramic glass roof? Removed. Acoustic glass gets downgraded to single pane, speaker system simplified. Ambient lighting reduced to single color. Musk has been blunt. If you want premium features, Tesla offers other models. The Model 2 prioritizes affordability above everything else. But here's the strategic calculation. These buyers aren't comparing the Model 2 to a Model Y. They're comparing it to a used Honda Civic or gas-powered compact. Against that competition, even a stripped-down Tesla with 300 miles range, instant acceleration, and potential robo-taxi earnings looks revolutionary. The Tesla community has fractured into opposing groups. Skeptics argue hitting $30,000 will require so many compromises that Model 2 damages Tesla's premium brand reputation. They point to Model Y standards failure as proof cheaper doesn't always mean better. The optimistic camp sees it differently. For millions priced out of EV ownership, the Model 2 represents their first realistic opportunity. 
They're willing to accept fabric seats and smaller screens if it means affording electric transportation with Tesla's supercharger network and over-the-air updates. Who's right? Both perspectives have merit. The Model 2 will absolutely require trade-offs some buyers find unacceptable, but it will also unlock an entirely new customer segment that's waited years for Tesla to deliver on the $25,000 vehicle promise. Tesla's 2025 was underwhelming. Sales declined as the product lineup stagnated. Cybertruck is too niche and expensive. Model S and X serve a tiny segment. Refreshed Model 3 wasn't revolutionary. Model Y standard failed to generate excitement. The Model 2 is Tesla's response. By May 2026, federal EV incentives may change, Chinese competition will intensify globally, and legacy automakers will launch affordable electric models. Tesla needs to move fast to claim the affordable EV segment before competitors do. Producing at Fremont carries political advantages. Made in USA reduces geopolitical risk and potentially qualifies for additional incentives. Despite California's higher labor costs, Fremont's deep Model 3 experience and proximity to engineering teams makes it the logical choice. Can Tesla deliver a $30,000 EV with 300-mile range that's profitable? The technology exists. Shenxing two batteries solve performance. Giga casting solves manufacturing cost, and strategic feature cuts solve pricing. Will it be as refined as Model 3? No. Will some customers be disappointed? Absolutely. But if Tesla executes, the Model 2 could accomplish something no other automaker has managed. A genuinely affordable, long-range EV that's profitable at scale. The Model Y standard taught Tesla you can't just strip features and call it affordable. The Model 2 represents a different approach, designing from the ground up around a specific price target, accepting required trade-offs. Is this Tesla's master stroke or desperate gamble? We'll find out May 2026. What do you think? Would you buy a $20,000 Tesla with 300-mile range if it meant giving up premium features? Drop your thoughts below. So here's what this really means. The question was never whether Tesla could build a $20,000 EV. It's whether they could do it profitably while keeping it desirable. The Model 2 answers that by fundamentally rethinking what affordable means in the EV market. This isn't just Tesla's backup plan after Model Y standard failed. It's the vehicle that could finally make electric transportation accessible to the 80% of Americans priced out of the EV market. And here's the bigger picture. If Tesla pulls this off, every automaker's affordable EV strategy becomes obsolete overnight. Legacy brands betting on $35,000 to $40,000 entry-level EVs will face a competitor that undercuts them by $15,000 while delivering comparable range. Chinese EV makers flooding global markets suddenly face a made-in-USA rival with superior charging infrastructure and autonomous capability. This is just the beginning. May 2026 isn't just a product launch. It's potentially the moment EVs become the default choice for mainstream buyers, not just early adopters. We're watching Tesla attempt the fastest production ramp in automotive history with technology that didn't exist two years ago. What do you think happens if they actually hit that $20,000 price point? Does this force every automaker to slash prices, or do they abandon the affordable EV segment entirely? Drop your predictions below. This conversation is far from over. This is tech revolution where we break down the technologies reshaping transportation. If you want deeper analysis on what's coming next in the EV wars, you know where to find us. Because the Model 2 story, it's only getting started, and the implications reach far beyond one vehicle.
The future of affordable electric transportation is being written right now in Fremont and will be here tracking every development.